Hi everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I am joined again by Chef Dennis Chan from Blue Bamboo. Hello. Hi, thank you for joining me today. Happy to be here. And we are filming another wonderful episode of our cookie series. Today we are going to be making an amazingly soft and fluffy cookie called a Chinese walnut cookie. Can you tell us a little bit about this cookie? Sure, this is a Chinese bakery staple. So any Chinese bakery you go to, you can get these delicious crumbly and fluffy wa walnut cookies. And these are made, I know we were talking a little bit earlier, but these are made with cake flour instead of traditional all-purpose flour. Yes, yeah, so there's no gluten, there's no chewiness to it, it's just a crispy, fluffy cookie. And you know, we're gonna make the small versions of these, but when you get them in the, uh, the Chinese bakeries, sometimes they make them like big like this, so you have to split them with people. Well, I am not one to share my cookies, <laughs> so I'm glad we're making small ones today, yes. so no, no sharing if we don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in order to make our delicious Chinese walnut cookies, you will need the following ingredients. Two cups of cake flour, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of salt, half cup of unsalted butter softened, half cup of granulated sugar, one large egg, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, three quarters cup of finely chopped walnuts, and 12 walnut halves for garnish. So the first part of our recipe is actually going to be made over on our stove. You're going to heat up a large skillet over medium, medium high heat and add in your chopped walnuts. Stir them around until they get nice and toasted and then remove them from the heat and put them back in your bowl. Now that our walnuts are beautifully toasted yes. and smell just, it smells so good in oh here. Oh my god, amazing. And they got gorgeously browned and you had that really cool little flip that you did. Uh. <laughs> but they are off to our side. They are cooling down a little bit. You do want your walnuts to cool down before you add them into your batter. Our next step is to combine our cake flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl. Mix it really well and then set your bowl aside. Next, you're going to add your butter and sugar to the bowl of a stand mixer. You're going to mix with the paddle attachment on medium high speed until everything is combined and light and fluffy. After that, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Scramble your egg in a small bowl. Reserve two teaspoons of the scrambled egg in a separate bowl and put it aside to use later as egg wash. Pour the remaining egg into your bowl of your stand mixer along with your vanilla extract and mix until everything is well combined. After that, add in your flour mixture and your chopped toasted walnuts and again mix until a nice dough is formed. So you want to take your dough and um, form it into a one big ball and then we're going to divide this into 12 equal parts. Now, once we divide it, we're gonna roll those into smaller balls or it doesn't really matter? Yeah, we'll divide it into smaller balls and then kind of loosely pack them into uh, a cookie to bake because you want them to kind of expand and grow a little bit. Now, we do have a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. All 12 of your cookies should fit directly onto your tray, so you shouldn't need more than one tray. And once your little dough balls are formed, place them here on top of your baking tray. Our next step is to take one of your walnut halves and you're going to gently press it into the center of each cookie. After all of your cookies have received a walnut half, you're going to let your dough rest for about 15 or 20 minutes. And during that time, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So our oven has finished preheating. Mm -hmm. We have let our cookies rest for the 20 or so minutes that our oven preheated. I know, we can't, I can't stand the weight. I know, and these cookies I think are gonna be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now we did fit them all here on one tray. Do we need to space them out anymore? They don't spread a lot, but they crackle. 
So um, the way that they've crackled once we push the walnuts down is beautiful. And that's just what you want them to look like. Great. And so now our very last step before baking is to brush some of our egg wash. So remember, we did reserve two teaspoons of the scrambled egg that we added into our dough. So we have that here and we're going to brush it over our cookies. Now, do we need to brush the egg wash over the walnuts as well or just the cookie itself? Why not? The whole thing. Great. Yeah, it'll add a nice yellow browning to it. Oh, beautiful. So this will be perfect. After you add your egg wash, you will bake your cookies in the oven for 20 minutes. And then at that 20 minute mark, turn the oven off, but leave your cookies in the oven for another five minutes to be in the oven while the oven starts to cool down. After those five minutes are done, you could take your cookies out and put them on a wire rack to continue to cool. These cookies are amazing well your kitchen has smelled good since we started toasting the walnuts and then now the cookies are made so they look great smell great oh my gosh and they stayed so beautifully fluffy mm -hmm. and that egg wash really kept that golden kind of not quite yellow but like a nice golden brown crust on the top yep and you know we leave these in the oven even though you turn off the oven so that it gets that extra little bit of dryness so that it's still uh, crispy and crunchy. And that perfect shiny glaze on the top. Yeah. These are beautiful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today making our Chinese walnut cookies. And thank you again to Chef Dennis for joining us again. Thank you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with us today. We appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from banker to baker. You can find this recipe on my website. Don't forget to give me a follow and Chef Dennis as well. Until next time, we hope you have a very happy bake day.